Hi guys, this is Sadiq from Dragon.com. In this video, we'll share a new keyboard file using which you can easily pass a strong test with ease. So let me show you currently. I am passing all the three tests using a new keyboard file whose size is 13.06 KB as you could see over here. So how to use this file? Well, there are two ways out. First off, if you obtain root, you may use the our own keybox module. This will place the keybox file in the required location. You will also have to flash a few other modules. I am not talking about that one. Using my module, you will only get the keybox file and not all the other modules. So uh, please keep that one in mind. If your phone is currently not obtained root, in that case you will not be able to use the module. You simply ask for the keybox file using the articles comment section at the very bottom. Then I will share the file with you guys. Then you could place the file manually as well. If required, if you are on a custom ROM which is not rooted, ask the file from this email section and we will mail you the file. Or if you obtain root, you may use the our own very own keybox module. So once you have got the keybox file, here is what you need to do. So let's say we will talk about all the three approaches. Let's say Magisk. In that case, you have to use the Magisk canary build. So obtain root by that. LS pose is optional, you may skip that. Shamiko module, you have to flash it. You may flash the plain ticket fix or the fork. For in case of Magisk, I am using the fix because it's quite hard to get the PIA file using the fork. But if you are on APAC or KSU, you may use the fork as well because that's quite easy to get PIA and fork in case of fork for the APAC and KSU. But in case of Magisk, let me show you what I mean. There is no option to tap on the action button and get the file. But in case of fork and you're using the APAC or KSU, you can simply tap on it here and get the file which, is, which will not work in case of Magisk. So for Magisk, it's required to use the plain negative fix and not the fork. For APIs and KSU, you may use the fork. Then Zygis Assistant, Tricky Store. And apart from that, also use the Tricky Store add-on module, which is over here, and the KSU Web UI app. So do these things, flash these five modules. The LS Post, Shamiko, Integrative Fix or Fork, Assistant, Tricky Store, add-on. And if you are using APIs and KSU, then please also install the Zygis Next or the Rezygis module. I have given the link in the respective sections. You could see for the APIs and KSU, the Zygis Next and Rezygis module is given over here. Please flash them as well. Once you flash all the modules, let me show you. Fix or Fork, Shamiko, Tricky Store, Tricky Store add-on as well. This is optional and this is required as well, Assistant. So once you flash all the modules, do a restart. And for Magis, you also have to turn on the Zygis from here. Then after that, moving on, once you flash all the modules, install the file app that supports root. For example, the Solid File Manager app, or you may also use the MD Manager app or the Me Explorer app. All of them will work. I'm using the Solid File Manager app. Open it. Then go to the following location, root, data, ADB, tricky store. Place the file over here, the keybox file. Likewise, open the KSU Web UI app. From here, go to PIF. Tap on fetch PIF JSON. You will now get a new PIF file. Then go back, go to Tricky Store, it's a new version, you could see the new UI. Tap over here, select all. Then tap on deselect unnecessary, which is this one, the fifth option. After that, tap on set patch, check mark advance, then get patch date, tap on save. Then you will get the prop over here and the date over here in the next two columns. Then tap on save, again tap on save. So just to repeat, select all, then deselect unnecessary. Then tap on set patch, advance, get patch date, tap on save, then again tap on save, and that is it. So once you have flashed all these modules which are shown in the article comment section, after that you have also used the KSU Web UI app to get the PI JSON file and also to carry out the tweak from here, which I have shown you, carry out the tweak from the section, tricky store tweak. When all that is complete, place the file inside data ID with tricky store and do a restart. After the restart, you will then be able to pass the strong test with ease as you could see over here. Now, if you are using the my very own keybox module, in that case, your one step will be very easy. You will not have to place the file manually. After flashing the module, the keyboard file will be placed over here automatically. Let me show you what I mean. Just give me a second. Let's first remove my module from here. Remove it. And let's also remove the keybox file from here. Once that is done, let me refresh it. So you will simply flash the module and then you will get the file over there. So as you can see currently I don't have the file over here. So simply go to Magisk or your APAC or KSU install from storage. Choose my module version 1.3. Tap on OK. Then a reboot is required. So tap on reboot. After the reboot, you will now get the keyboard file in the data ID with trigger store directory. 
I'll show you that and then we'll pass the strong test with ease. So my module does not have these modules. My module only task is to place the keybox file in the data table tree store. So you will get a new keybox file every time, but you will still have to flash all these modules. Just keep this point in mind. My module does not have these modules. It's a separate module with only a keybox file, which will place the file inside data table tree store. And then you have to flash all these modules and then get the job done. So obviously if you obtain root in that case, only the model work or else you will have to then Ask the file via me, then you choose the wrong spoofing section from the spoofing section, upload the keybox file to pass the strong test. So with that said, we have flashed the module. Let's launch the magic scab. Go to modules. Just give me a second. Modules and you could now see it's up and running. Version 1.3 is there and the file is there or not. You could see it's not placed there. So we'll now pass the strong test with ease. So guys, as you could see, that's all from this video. If you have any query, let me know in the comment section. And thanks a lot for watching.